Hi everyone. Um, this week's vlog is a little bit delayed because. Other than that, there are many things happening in my life and my work uh, right now. Um, my mind is kind of drift away from what I have to focus on. Well, in the past few weeks, I was really overwhelmed by what Donald Trump has done in the White House, um, especially for his pick of Secretary of Education. Um, I don't like politics. And uh, I rarely talk about politics in my 40 years of life. Um, well, by the way, if you hear any music in this video, that's from the music teacher next to my studio. Um, well, either he or his student is working on the Elgar's Cello Concerto right now. Uh, it's one of my favorite pieces, by the way. Quick update about the Asian Winter Games. Um, this year, the Chinese Taipei, Taiwan, has the largest group entering the Asian Winter Games. We have 41 athletes from five different sports. Uh, that includes alpine skiing, um, biathlon. In the skating part, we have um, speed skating, short track speed skating, uh, and figure skating. And we have uh, an ice hockey team and a curling team. So overall, we will have like a group of 71 people, including the officials, um, staffs from national, from our national Olympic committee, um, going to Japan next week. Let's say, if I don't have any background in photography, if I don't know how to operate the camera, would you hire me to be your photographer? take a picture of you, your business, or your product? No. If I don't have any background in statistics, would you hire me to do the data analysis for your clinical trials? No. If I don't have any experience in curling, would my National Olympic Committee send me to the Asian Winter Games next week? No. What's happening in the White House or the U.S. government is not something I can control or you can control. So I think I've spent too much time watching those late night shows, um, joking, complaining or joking about the U.S. government right now. Um, I know it's frustrating and at the same time it's entertaining. But anyway, the point is it's a waste of time to focus on those things that you can't control. So what I really have to do is just focus on what I can control. Um, like I still have to learn a lot of how to run my business. Um, I still have a lot to learn in photography, in videography or filmmaking. I can spend a lot of time, well I need to spend a lot of time on those craft. I need to improve my skills as a professional. Um, that's what I should really focus on. And we got the competition schedule about two weeks ago. Um, there are six teams in the, Korean, the men's Korean competition. We'll be playing against the hosting country, Japan, on the first day, the 18th, February 18th. Uh, and then on the 19th, we play against China. On the 20th, we play against South Korea. And the last day of the round robins, we play against Qatar and Kazakhstan. The semifinals are on the 22nd, then followed by the bronze medal game on the 23rd, and the gold medal game on the 24th. The opening ceremony is on the 19th. I'm very excited about it because this is my first time in the Asian Winter Games. And the closing ceremony, however, well, it's on the 26th. Unfortunately, we cannot attend the closing ceremony because our National Olympic Committee asks us to return on the 26th. That means 
At the time of closing ceremony, our team will be on the flight returning home. It's a little bit disappointing, but again, that's not something we can control because our National Com Olympic Committee make the decision that we had to follow. We can only focus on what we can control, like we need to prepare for the games, um, we need to stay healthy. Back in November, uh, November 2016, at the Pacific Asia Clean Championships, that's the first time we make it to the top four in history. And a lot of people ask us why we improved so much compared to previous years. Well, our response is that, well, we work with a sports psychologist, and some of them don't believe it. The thing is, well, physical training or skill training is important, but I think the mental toughness is what distinguishes professionals from the amateurs. Um, that's why we work with a sports psychologist. Uh, we continue working with him, and uh, hopefully we can do better uh, next week compared to November. For the next two weeks, since I'll be in Japan, but well, depending on the internet access, how good that is in Japan, um, I'm planning on doing some updates in my channel. So uh, it's either be every day or every other day, I don't know, uh, depending on our schedule and uh, the availability of internet access. But I'll try to keep you updated. So please subscribe to my channel or my social media, Facebook, Twitter. Um, so thanks for watching. See you next time. Or in Japan.